Welcome back to Blender Daily. In today's tutorial I want to quickly demonstrate a simple technique to create double-sided materials with Blender. Let me show you. Okay, so first of all let me quickly demonstrate the issue that I'm having. I downloaded this leaf texture from cgbookcase.com that includes all those textures that you can see right here. And you can also see that we get different textures for the front side and for the back side of the leaf. So the front side doesn't look the same as the back side. And by the way, this is a free material. So I put the link to this in the video description and you can download it as well if you want to. Then I imported the both diffuse textures into Blender. So this one is for the front and this one is for the back. Now I want to use the front texture on the front side of my plane and the back texture on the back side of my plane. But this isn't very intuitive to do in Blender because Blender always uses the same textures on both sides of the face. Yeah, but luckily there is a workaround to fix this that I want to show you in this tutorial. For this we need to first create two shaders, one for the front and one for the back. So let me duplicate this principal PSDF node. The bottom one is going to be for the back side. So let's plug the back texture into the base color. And this one is going to be for the front side. So also plug the color into the base color. Then we need to mix those two uh, shaders together. So press Shift A and under shader bring in a mix shader. Mix them together. And currently they are mixed just 50-50. So this doesn't really help us because we still have the same on both sides of the plane. But we can press Shift A again and under input bring in a geometry node. Uh, which is right here. And when we take a look at this back facing output you can see that this gives us a mask that differentiates between the front side of the plane and the back side of the plane. And when we use this back facing output for the mix shader, you can see that we now have uh, one shader that is using the front side of the plane and the other shader is only on the back side, which is exactly what we need and fixed our problem already. So now we can uh, improve those two shaders even more to make this leaf texture really work. So let's first make the back side of the leaf. So I'm also gonna bring in the opacity mask, a normal map, the normal map that we have right here and the roughness map as well. And for each texture that isn't the diffuse texture, we want to change the color space to non-color data. So for all the one that I just imported, I'm going to change them to non-color data. And first of all, let me use the normal map. So I'm going to press Shift A again and under Vector bring in a normal map node. Plug the normal into the normal. And I'm using the second shader. So we're creating the back face. You can see right here. And then the color into the color. And now the normal map should be working. Okay, great. So let's continue with the, uh, with the roughness map. So just take this color output and plug it into the roughness input of the principal PSDF node. And then next we can also use the opacity map that we're going to plug into the alpha in order to get rid of all the excess space on our plane. Now currently this gets just black and isn't transparent. This is because we are using EV and EV doesn't support transparency with the default settings. So in order to fix this, go to the shader editor, press N to open up the side panel and under the options, change the blend mode from opaque to alpha clip in this case. And now we have the transparency working. Okay, so that's it for the back side of the leaf. Now let's also fix the front side. So first of all, we can use the same opacity mask since this is exactly the same for both of them. So just take the same one and also plug it into the alpha. Okay, so this is working. Then we also need the other textures. So the normal map for the front and the roughness map for the front side. 
Then again, change them from sRGB to non-color data. Then we can just plug the roughness into the roughness input. And for the normal map, we also need a vector normal map node, normal to normal and color to color. And now our uh, leaf texture should be ready on both sides. So this is how easy it is to get two different textures on both sides of a plane. And this can be used for a lot of different things, not only leaves. And let me also quickly show you the final node setup. So if you weren't able to follow along with me, you can take a look at it now. That's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you found it interesting and could learn something new. I am Nick from Blender Daily. See you in the next one.